Hey, I'm Dirt Murder, and welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 2. And if you haven't played this game before, and you don't know anything about it, stop watching this video and go buy an NES right now. Or at least download it on the Virtual Console, it's cheap enough. So, here we go, Metal Man. AKA, biggest fucking pushover in video game history. Well, I don't know, that, that might be the dragon in this... well... This game holds the biggest pushover in video game history, I'll just say that. And the easiest E-Tank you'll ever fucking get in a Mega Man game. Or so I've seen, at least. <sighs> and get hit like a fucking moron. That's how I roll. You know, it's really gonna suck trying to get all my subscribers back and shit and trying to regain my popularity, so... I've just decided that I'm not going to try and I'm just going to keep making videos for the people who do watch my videos. Restarting after having a three year account is going to be a real bitch, but if it's what I have to do, I'll do it. It'd be nice if I could get that account back, but seeing as AOL, MySpace, and YouTube all have the best customer service in the fucking face of the earth, I really don't see that happening. <sighs> just a tip to all you people, make sure no one ever fucking gets your password for your main email account because if they do they've got everything ever and you're totally fucked anyway back to the game I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of farming in this part well not this part exactly because I just got the part that I needed but later on in Wily stages I'm gonna be doing a dick load of farming so I might put all of it in fast forward I'm not sure yet and then the impossible to get one up for anyone who plays the game, how, you know, you're quote quote supposed to play it like I am. And have Mega Man jump around like a fucking trouble child on crack. That's Mega! Totally Mega! If you got that reference, go outside right now. Well, as soon as the video is over, I need the view. <laughs> That's all I'm going to get because I've disabled all my comments and ratings because trolls like to have fun with my videos now. I make a dumbass mistake and get hit by the saw blade. Those bastards really piss me off in difficult mode just because it takes two hits and I never realized that. So I keep trying to hit them in the face and no matter what I did they wouldn't die. So now we're going into the first boss. And I have a unique strategy with, well, it's not very unique, but I have a kind of weird strategy towards Mega Man bosses. I run in and shoot and hope I don't die. I'm sure a lot of you do that, and needless to say, this is not going to be, towards any boss, a no-hit run. And this isn't going to be a no-death run either, I'm not that fucking good. And it's impossible to no-death run Mega Man 2 anyway. You can one-death run it if you're really good. So yeah, here comes the extremely boring part where the awesome music plays and you teleport away and fucking Dr. Light, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Sean Connery fucking yaps at you for a whole 30 seconds or more if you fucking get a new item. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I can't talk today. Thankfully, he doesn't come out until about two stages from now. So I'm just gonna move on to Woodman. I think, yeah. Obviously this is um, pre-recorded because I don't have a capture card that I can commentate on. This is burnt, uh, I mean ripped off of a DVD. But this is where shit gets fun. I just spam the shit out of Metal Blade in every single stage. Unless I physically can't spam Metal Blade, I'm going to spam Metal Blade. Die, fucking bat. Fucking rabbit douche. I'm no deceased crab. I cuss as I please. Where has deceased crab been lately? I mean, is it just me, or has he, like, started posting a video every three months now? I mean, he used to be my favorite LP until I realized how much of a douche he actually was. Kind of a dis uh, disillusion towards me because I thought DC just from the way he talked would be a pretty awesome guy but then you know after you comment him a couple times and he responds to you he's just totally comes off as a sarcastic asshole I mean if he is different from that then I totally apologize but from what I can gather he is 
not a pleasant person to talk to at all. But that has nothing to do with this, so I'm just gonna shut up about him. So I just beat the shit out of three fire-breathing mechanical dogs, only in Japan. And there are more mecha bats. This game could do with some better designed enemies, but it was the 80s and it was Japan, so whatever. I guess I'm expecting Mario from every NES game, and that's just unrealistic. Oh my god, it's Gutsman, monkey guy. And he jumps at you and strikes a pose long enough for you to beat the shit out of him. Oh no, it's the Satan birds. Those birds are the bane of my existence. I do a pretty good job of killing the shit out of them. Oh, not, not there. They can be useful, but at the same time, they can fuck your life. They will fuck everything that you fucking own. They will wreck you like Billy Mays wrecks anuses. And you don't want me to do my Billy Mays impression because I'll probably offend just about everybody. Moving down to a room with a bunny that is dispatched within, like, milliseconds. Then fall into another room with another bunny that shoots its carrot dicks at me. And I end up getting hit and flashing and becoming invisible. That's what I love about this fucking mm, DVD ripper. It, like, totally screws up the sprites so much that if I get hit, I'm invisible for like three seconds. And then the invincible chicken bastards, or at least I think they're invincible. I've never found anything that can kill them, but I never tried. I just memorized their pattern well enough that I can just stop right before they jump over me. And here we go, boss number two, Woodman. I don't even really know what his weakness is. I think it's, uh, Heatman. But, you know, I never had the patience to go to Heatman first and do that jump puzzle thing. So I just run into the metal blades and beat the shit out of him. It's not very hard. So here we go. Another stage beaten. And from what I remember, we're moving on to... Airman, I think. I don't know if that's his name. I'm pretty sure it is. Leaf Shield! That's Mega! Okay, good. Still no Sean Connery in sight. Yep. Moving on to... Oh yeah, the thing about this. Sometimes I have to cut between um, stages and shit, and sometimes I'll have to cut during pauses so there'll be an audio glitch. But I made sure there's no video jumping or shit. So here we go, one of my least favorite stages, just because of those bastards right there. They annoy the holy hell out of me. Oh, and there are more Satan birds in this fucking level than nearly anything. At least I think there are Satan birds in this level. And what's really bad, for a kid with ADD like me, I can't sit still long enough for those fucking little horns to go up and down, so I usually end up just jumping on them and taking the hit. And I just jumped right into that because I'm oh so intelligent. And then there are the fucking Thunder God dudes on the clouds. Oh, one of my favorite parts is coming up like right now, I think. Hold on. I think it's right here. No. Oh, no, I guess not. Well, that part will be coming up later. Oh, or it might be right here. No, okay. I'm totally giving all of you false hope, and I love it. Oh my god, Satan birds! Satan birds! We gone, Richard Satan bird! I kill you! And then I cook you and I sell you to Chinese restaurant for nine ninety five per pound. And then the blue wiggly dildos. And I jumped to the wrong side of the screen because I'm totally fucking smart.